Cool. She did Sue and Style. She did Sue and Style. She was also more around the beginners, but they had all kinds of classes. From herbal classes to um, Zumba, yoga. She was really good. She was really She was really good. This was a lady in the lake. And this one on Tai Chi, she, I TV, she goes, it's good to do every day. You know, the same thing is like taking medicine. I can't move around unless I do uh, Qigong and uh, I change a little bit. Every day. Yeah. 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 Shoulders back as you inhale 
and then down. I made it. Then we'll try a few more. So we inhale up. And so we're, we're creating concave space in the chest right now, right? And your back is opening up at this point. Inhale and then exhale. And we'll try a few more. Inhale at your own speed. Nice, complete breaths. Okay, let's hold the ball in front now. So, kind of like a bag of sand, you're just settling down, right? And the feet are flat on the floor, right? And so the spine is kept straight, the chin is tucked in, the tongue is on the roof of the mouth, and the back is sort of straightened here where you push the pelvis forward slightly. And I'm just going to hold it for a second or two. Now we're going to take a couple uh, deep breaths here. So inhale and sort of expand a little bit as you inhale. So you open up the front of the chest and then exhale and then sort of concave the front of the chest and open up the back at this point. And let's try it again a couple more times. Go at your own pace, whatever feels most comfortable. You want to take deep breaths, so expanding the abdomen, lower abdomen, middle lungs, upper lungs. And then exhale, relax. And a couple more. Feet flat on the floor. Check the energy on your feet. Where's your, where's your energy in your feet? Are they, uh, is the energy evenly balanced? Are the feet flat on the floor when you do this? Okay, let's bring the hands together here, and then we'll bring them out, and this time we're going to open up, again, opening up the chest and closing the back. So we inhale, and exhale. And inhale. Do a few uh, breaths at, at your own comfortable speed. And again, check your feet. Feet flat on the floor, weight evenly distributed. Okay, we're going to add something to this one so this will become out and open. Inhale, and then exhale, and then inhale, come up. And then exhale, stretch your hands up, down slow. And back, uh, prayer like fashion. And again, inhale. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale together. And so remember, we're opening up the front of the chest, closing the back, and then when we come back, we're going to concave the chest and opening up the back. So it's inhale, open up the chest, exhale. Now we kind of open up the top of the lungs. And inhale down. Exhale together, open up the back of the chest, concave the front. Let's try it again. Inhale, out. Exhale up. Inhale out. Exhale together. And relax. 
Okay, so um, Joe asked about it. I used to teach it, but it's very similar to some of the, it's called the uh, 18 Buddha hands or 18 jewels movements, but it's easier. You like that, right? So again, the knees are lined up with the toes, right? Wherever you feel most comfortable. And so we're gonna just, just take our hands and put them on our, uh, some people do it like this. Get a little finger exercise. I tend to do it like this, it's easier. And so from here, we're just gonna look over the right shoulder, twist the spine. The spine is more or less straight at this point, but it's twisting. And we're gonna take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, relax. And now nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, relax, check your feet. Where's your weight? Your weight, it should be evenly distributed on the bottoms of the feet here. And then we're gonna keep the body turned, but just turn the head back this time. And we're gonna take a few deep, deep breaths here. And then back to center. And back to center, we're gonna do, do some jiggling here. Just jiggling. And then the other side, we twist the whole body, look over the shoulder, take a few deep breaths. And then keep the body twisted, just turn the head back. Take a few deep breaths. And then back to the center, and then we're just gonna jiggle a little bit. And then relax, and we'll do two more cleansing breaths. Stand in a better relaxed position. Check your feet, okay? You're like a big bag of sand right here, just settling right. Everything's settling down to the bottom of the feet, kind of thing, right? Feet are flat on the floor. And then we'll do some uh, regular cleansing breaths. Inhale, out. And exhale there. Inhale up. Feet flat on the floor. Exhale down. This next one, we're going to stretch your hands out a little bit further. Inhale. And then exhale down. And relax. Okay, let's try some of the Tai Chi. Uh, so, normally Tai Chi starts out in the Feet in the B position, the little way, the elbow way stance. <laughs> and so we're just going to inhale, and so uh, we're going to check the posture first. So the knees are slightly bent, right? Chin is tucked in, the back is nice and straight, and then the pelvis is tucked forward, so the arch in the back is pushed out slightly. But we're going to try and be in a comfortable position. We're not going to stress anything here. Just check yourself. And the underarms are open and the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. So, and then relax the entire body. Relax the feet, relax the ankles, relax the calves, the knees. Relax the entire legs, relax the hips. Relax the back. Relax the abdomen, chest, shoulders, arms. Relax the neck, relax the face, relax the head, relax the eyes. And relax the ears. Okay, so from here we're just gonna bring the hands up slow. And then shoulder distance or shoulder uh, height and then down. As we come down, we're gonna kinda like do the circle. We're not, we're not gonna move the feet yet, but basically this is a circle. So from here, you start, and we always have the tiger mouth position. So you have a slight awareness in the hands. And the tiger mouth is, of course, this, right? And so from here, we have the tiger mouth hands. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. And circle and out. So from here again, the hands come up. Down. 
and then sort of circle from down below and then up, out, uh, kind of hard hover. So from here, inhale up, exhale down, circle out. Now we're going to lift the left heel up and step forward slightly with the left leg. And then so from here, we're going to push and then take a half step forward. So this is the half step Tai Chi. This is what I named it, the famous half step Tai Chi, right? So the half step Tai Chi. It's not a full step, it's a half step. And the half step is like, it's kind of like you're walking and running. You're gonna push off with that back foot, right? You're pushing off. So this is this is push off with that back foot. Let's stop. You're not going in the step, right? Okay, so from here, let's try it again. So we inhale out. Nice and relaxed. Exhale down. Left leg steps out. Now step forward. And then feet flat on the floor. Weight evenly distributed here. Check your posture. Nice back. Uh, nice straight back, chin tucked in, slightly head lifted. And we're going to expand, open up the chest, close the uh, back area. Exhale, close, uh, concave the chest, open up the back area. And one more time. Inhale, out. Exhale, down. Let's get it. Okay, so I was just going to go over some of that brush knee twist step. So the brush knee twist step. So we're going to start here. So the left, the left over the right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn slightly so you kind of get a, you get a, you might be able to get a better perspective. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the right hand up and then sort of glance at it briefly. And then turn to the left and then brush the knee with the left hand. And then we're going to take a half step forward with the right leg, right foot, and then push with the right hand. <coughs> okay, so the movement is like this. Basically, it's block, push, right? It's block, push. Okay, let's just try a few of these. We're not going to step. We're just going to do movement. Now, for the, whatever the application, the movements are sort of shorter. They're shorter. And then this hand comes out of nowhere, right? This hand comes out of nowhere. It doesn't normally come like this. But if you want to do exercise, you can just do it fun for application. That hand comes out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so let's just try. So, so this one is said block. Block. Yeah, first one like block. Right? Exactly. It's a push. Yeah. Ready. It's never a block, actually, we are we guiding it. The first is never, a block? yeah. No, it's not really a block, actually, it's brushing. That's why it's called brushing. Okay. Real Left hand over the right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Can you feel any connection between the two hands? Magnetics. Yeah, almost like a ball of energy here, right? That's why it's called energy ball. Energy ball. Yeah. So, uh, Left right. Let's say the right. So wait, wait. We're coming from open clothes, right? So then do you go to this position? Correct. The energy ball. Yeah. And then, uh, so the left hand will go down, the right hand will come up. Now, I say look at your hand just briefly. Yeah. It's like a diffuse focus. It's not a pinpoint. Yeah. It's more like the awareness kind of goes over there, right? Okay. It's like. Like I said, it's like looking, you know, like you have those hand mirrors. Do they still, women still have yes, hand mirrors? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have four sisters, but I mean, they have, I mean, and my wife doesn't use one, so I don't know. Okay, so it's like this, it's just slightly, oh, I look okay. You know, it's just like, you know, you're just glancing through. It's like going like this. So there's a slight, okay, but you don't stare at it. That's what boy is trying to tell you. Just because some people go like this, they look at the hand and go, uh, you know, you don't. It's just a glance. 
Okay, they can see like the back of your ear is okay as it's going. I better show that before it gets more messed up. You know, okay, but you know, it's like that way. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, now, Bill. Okay, so let's start out right here in this, this position. Let's start out in a good, kind of a horse stance with the knees pointing and the uh, toes pointing in the same direction. Check your posture. The back is straight, belt's tucked in, chin tucked in, underarms open. Tongue on the roof of the mouth, back straight. Okay. Hit, that bowl, hit that bowl of water, you don't want to spill anything when you move. And we're not bobbing the head as we move. So we keep that bowl and we don't spill it. Okay, so from here, now you feel that energy between the hands again. Okay, and then the right hand comes up. And the left hand goes down as you turn. So this, and this, is, this is a whole body um, redirection, right? It's not, just, it's not just this, right? It's that, right? And then you take a step forward slightly, and then a half step forward as you push. Okay, let's just try that one. So from here, right hand comes up, left hand goes down, turn, step, push. And Mike, okay, it's not, it's circular down this way. You're going up here, okay? It's this way. Okay. It's not up here. Okay. It's it's this way. Okay. I'm going to try again. So we'll pause okay. together. Check your posture. Nice back. Nice straight back. Weight evenly distributed at this point. <coughs> now we're going to bring the right hand up. And the left hand goes down as you turn to the left. And then we're going to sort of shuffle with the front foot and step forward with the right foot. A little bit more across here. Your right foot goes up to your arch. Are you right, Roberta? Mm -hmm. I heard you say something. No, oh, I didn't know it was me. I said, oh, I, mean, I, I said me mixed up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. I thought I heard it. <laughs> Okay, so just remember, this is like, okay, so you're kind of like walking. Yes. You push right. with that back foot, right? It, okay, in Chinese, so so now you'll learn a Chinese lesson. The thing is, they say, it's like when you work in the rice paddies and you're jumping over a ditch. All right, so that's how the foot is attached to go. And then you, you reach it, you know, there's ditches. I've known, I know no one here. I've seen rice Patties, but I've never been in any. Okay? One of those okay? So the, the idea is that you stretch out and then you leap over that ditch. So you imagine, are uh, you supposed to imagine a ditch? So we, so we move and, out. And then, and when, you, then when your foot, step your foot up comes up, yes, your foot comes up. Yes. All right? So okay. you step and you come up and, and step down. Right. Okay? So, so when we step. Okay, so when we are, okay, so we're stepping up, so which arm goes with the step up? Okay, don't worry about the arm, just think about, just think about your feet, see? It, yes. You reach out, you reach out, yes. and then you push off this back. It's all right, right. push. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's when you push the knee. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's, you reach. Okay, the brush of the knee. Brush, that's easy. Okay, and they act, it's, well, I don't know what's going on. But that, that's the thing, okay, if I can figure out an American way of, okay, jumping a ditch, because we don't even have any ditches around See, I wouldn't jump the ditch, I'd probably fall in, because I would lose my ground. We just grow up with them. <laughs> we just, we just, like, we still fall Well, we, well, well I, I'll think of something, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm stepping over the top is. We still fall over the ditch. Let's say the, 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 the ditch is here, you're stepping <laughs> over the ditch. Yeah. And then you're falling up, so you don't want to drag the foot. Okay. Yeah. Step we step in the flower garden, where you step on the flower Can you see? Okay. <laughs> that worked better. So we also have picking flowers. Right? Like okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, they, they, okay. The arm, yeah. We're, we're just yeah. trying to get close. Okay. All right. Bill, continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, do you want to do one facing that way? Uh, uh, step over the track. Okay, so I'm going to finish this way. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> but that's like a jump rope. Is that a positive back straight? When we're facing the jump rope, it's hard. Yeah, it's straight. And your arms open. Right hand comes up. Turn to the left. Left hand blocks, blow, or redirect. And then sort of shuffle forward with the left foot and then half step forward with the right foot. And push the right hand. Okay, so keep your back straight on it. So, the front of the The energy, whatever flows in the body, better if your back is straight. It's uh, better actually be backward than too far forward, in my and, opinion. Okay, a really important thing is the hand. Okay, the hand itself, if you put too much tension, I don't know if you can see it. If you can see my bends in my wrist, you see the bends? The little lines there? You don't want to have very many, all right? To actually, for the energy to flow through your arm, you want to have as little bit of bends as you can.